on you guys so I'm back again here god damn phone right when I press record all right back again here with another quick little mod today for my car today we're gonna be installing Sean Foster's uh, supercharger sound tube here it is here real simple kit it's basically a one inch hose that looks very much like the OEM hoses that are sitting up under the engine compartment and it comes with two like rubber grommets to go around the hose and protect the hose from the firewall itself and your bit that you will be using to make the one inch hole. Now I went ahead and went with a stage two kit which basically means that I have to make my own hole right here between the pedals. It seems looks real easy after talking to him he made me feel very comfortable about doing it and you know how it doesn't look too difficult at all, but then again, all jobs look like that, so let's cross our fingers and hope that we don't run into any hiccups. Um, basically, what it does is it comes to the firewall, to the supercharger air box, and it basically is to create more wine noise inside the cabin. Now, like I said, the guy's name is uh, Sean Foster, real cool dude, real helpful with his information and how to, you know, how to do it and whatnot. Uh, really reassuring on the product, and his Instagram is at Fustang. 6g i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna also put all his information down below um i believe it looks like he has a website as well so i'm gonna go ahead and throw that down in the description below make sure you hit him up make sure you let him know that i sent you if you guys are interested in doing this without further ado let's get it done all right you guys so i was just reading through the instructions uh getting myself familiar with it what we've done so far is just remove the intake uh box cover and uh, basically the hole is going to be somewhere around here. The instructions are very good and very detailed so I'll measure that out once I get to that point. I've measured out the interior hole already. So I'm going to go ahead I've cleaned up the carpet. Um, when I first started this I actually did not have his instructions so I was kind of just going about it on my own. And then I actually gave him, I shot him a message and he uh, shot me over the instructions properly. So I kind of did this the improper way. But I mean nonetheless all you're doing is I mean the carpet sits over it all like that anyways so all you're doing is removing the insulation behind it marking up your hole and uh, getting it drilled out so I'm at that step right now I'm gonna go ahead and drill this hole out and then move on to the hole at the box all right you guys so on the other side of the firewall there's like this little sound deadening material that's on the other side I went ahead and had my uh, brother just come in and slowly start pushing through to cut up exact hole through that material as well that's what I'm holding in my hand here and of course I didn't hold the other side of my hand I used the like a long screwdriver just to put pressure against the hole saw so now we have a perfect hole all the way through so it's actually four inches from the top of the box down to the center of the hole and from the corner of the box it's actually an inch and a quarter to the center you would actually you're gonna end up with a quarter size hole, uh, space from the corner of the box to the outer edge of the hole itself so let's re-measure this one more time Just a little more. What are we doing now? So I'm gonna try just lubing it up. It's just some anti-seize uh, lubricant. Cause yeah, shit's tight as hell. Which is good. I mean, that, that's good fit and finish there. It's not gonna fall right out. Yeah, it's not gonna fall out. So that's good. It's one of those things that once it's in, it's gonna, it's in. Just a pain in the ass. Yeah, it's a, it's a pain in the ass to put it in place. It'd be a little messy, but you just wipe it off afterwards. Oh my Dude, god! Yeah, that was so much easier. Okay. Oh damn, we were struggling like Pro mother. Tip. And even Sean told me, use lubricant. <laughs> but you chose not to. Yeah, I always try to do it the hard way. Another pro tip, guys. Make sure you follow instructions. Per instruction, I'm supposed to do this side first, and it totally makes sense now, because look at the situation I'm in now. This side's in, but look how much slack I have to work with and try to get in there. Um, so I'm going to try it, but if it does not work out even with the lube here, I'm going to have to pull it back out and do it the right way. So here we go. Look at me, fucking sweating balls. I didn't follow instructions. 
For instructions, it says easier way to do it to get the tube through the firewall is to go ahead and wrap electrical tape around it and give yourself a nipple to pull on. I didn't think it would work, so I didn't do it. So I was sitting there trying to freaking lube it up, push it through and whatnot. It wasn't working, so I said, all right, let's go back to instructions. Follow the instructions. Dude, I barely even grabbed this, pulled it while my buddy Georgie was pushing on the other side, and it fucking went right through. God damn it, dude. Sean. Sean, you are a genius. Follow instructions. <laughs> and don't do the instructions reversed. Yeah, don't do it backwards. Yeah, because then we end up with this side in, and then you still gotta do the hard part. Alright, you guys, there we go. This is the intake box. That's the hose itself. Like I said, very OEM looking hose, as you can tell. Like even these over there. Very OEM looking hose. I like that. I like how it's basically a straight shot and just sits out of the way, not going anywhere. Those grommets, man, those grommets and the hole that he designed and he got, I mean, to the T, dude. The fit and finish of these things, of this kit, is pretty damn good. Like I said several times, you guys, just follow instructions, man. I can definitely tell that Sean put his time and put uh, his own experiences in his instructions. So just follow him to the T, and you should be all right. The last thing I had to do is just trim the black carpet, put that tab back on, and it's all held in place now. We're all good to go. Grommets are in place, not going anywhere. Now just put the airbox lid back on and we should be good to go. So we'll pick this back up on the review part. Let's go listen to this. I hear a little difference. I hear like a little whisking noise like a tss. A little difference, but like I said, you guys, it's not really supposed to kick in up until you're at like uh, three over 3,000. According to him, it's over 3,000 when it really kicks in. So we'll go for a little drive and uh, check it out. See if we hear a difference. Pretty excited. Just get up on this freeway here. Get it out a second here. Let them get ahead a little bit. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> oh shit. That shit sounds fucking sick. Damn. Oh shit, dude. <laughs> That sounds fucking nice. <laughs> God damn, dude. Whoa, oh, that just sounds clean, dude. Trip, I got one you can have. Wow, oh, hope it hit you, buddy. Fuck! Really? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. Fuck, man. Alright, guys, we're gonna try a couple hits with the windows up. Let's see how it sounds with it there. It comes in at a much higher RPM, but nonetheless, it's there, dude. It's definitely noticeable. So right now I'm in fifth gear at about just under 3,000 RPM, doing about 65, and I don't hear it at all. Now I'm in sixth gear, cruising 65, 70, 
I hear the little wisping noise. Like I, it's like I can hear the throttle body opening up. Cause when I'm off of gas, I don't hear anything. As soon as I go in gas, it's like I hear the throttle bottom open up and I, I hear like a little bit of airflow. Fifth gear. This fourth gear. Woo! Prop, prop life. Yeah, that sounds sweet, dude. I will see you guys. Four and a half, five thousand, five and a half. I gotta slow down, but it definitely screams. It, it, it seems like from, I wanna say like three and a half to four and a half, five, it, it's, you can hear it, it's, it's screaming. But after that, anything after like five and a half, oh dude, this thing is absolutely fucking nuts. Nuts, dude, loud. So, uh, I mean, I'm sure you guys can tell a smile on my face. I like it. Again, Sean, huge shout out. You know, thanks, dude. Fucking thanks for walking me through it all. I, I definitely, your help definitely helped me out a lot in installing it and, and whatnot. Um, like I said, uh, I think it's Fustang 6G, I believe. I'll put it here and then I'll put it in the description box. You guys can check it out. But I mean, nonetheless, you guys, I like it. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. And uh, yeah, man, this just sounds nice, dude. That wine that I've been looking for and waiting for, finally got it. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.